Hey, Gemini, Elsie here to do your reading uh, for the month ahead. Um, and uh, so this will be for the month of December. And um, I am going to ask for Archangel Michael, Archangel Shemuel. I do need help with guidance. Um, um, I'm sorry, not the month ahead, the two weeks ahead, <laughs> two weeks ahead for you. Um, and uh, Archangel Michael, Archangel Shemuel, I do need your help with understanding and guidance, please, uh, for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the next two weeks ahead, please. Thank you. Okay, you know what? I think I am going to start with this one here. I'm going to start with the Lightseer's Tarot. If you're interested in any of the, the cards that I have or cards that I'm um, eyeing, spying to buy, you can look below. There is a link there for uh, Amazon.ca. It is my Amazon store. I do get a small portion if you decide to buy from that store. So um, I am just going to... I'm just going to cut these. All right. Let's go, Gemini. What's up with you? What's up with you for the next couple of weeks, hey? Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Oh, first one we've got is the Three of Cups. Three of Cups, all depending what car cards come out around them, is uh, dependent upon what that card means. So, let's... Uh, let's figure out what that means. What else do we have for... Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, please. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Gemini, what else do we have for Gemini? Thank you. All right, so we do have... We have the Six of Swords. So I'm just going to go ahead and say that there has been some sort of a third-party connection that you've been thinking about. So I, I feel as though um, that you, it, it makes you feel a little bit chaotic when you think about it. That um, I feel like you are in some sort of uh, either either a legal union or an important union. Maybe you're living together. Maybe you've already had a family. But I feel as though this is a third-party connection. But I feel it's in the mind. I don't feel like you've seen this person. I don't feel like you've touched this person. There's been no cheating going on. But, you know, that all depends on how you feel about um, someone, you know, being up in their head trying to figure out what's going on. So the Six of Swords is about connection and communication because it is an air card. It is Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. And it is about, you know, she's trying to get away from some thoughts. She's trying to get away from the chaos and move to the calm. And I feel like when you think about... Um, this other person um, who you who whom of whom you have allowed into your brain I feel like that's how it makes you feel sort of chaotic um, then we have the Empress and the Empress is Libra and Taurus um, the Empress is someone who is connected to spirit she advises that you connect to spirit she also is someone who's very creative so she will find creative ways to love to live to help others around her she she is the mother of the deck, so she's into mothering all sorts of people. We have Temperance, which is Sagittarius. And you want to keep your balance. I feel like while you are um, connecting to spirit, you are really connecting to spirit to try and keep your balance because of this chaos over here. Um, then we have the Ten of Wands. You have some burdens to put down here, Gemini burdens to put down you're trying to get your balance putting down those burdens and i do believe the energy of the empress is helping you connect to spirit so you know how to put down those burdens and then we have um the moon card and the moon card is all about you know a little bit of fear you can't really see what's in the future things are not as they seem i don't know what that means to you gemini but you need to put that into focus and decide how that resonates with you but things are not as they seem here things are not as they seem in your life things are not as they seem. And I feel like this energy right here is something that we really need to dig in a little more. I have the five of wands. And you know what? I had another reading where these came up together. This is fear of your own thoughts because you're fighting internally with yourself here. You're being harsh with yourself. You're saying mean things to yourself. You're kind of, should I, shouldn't I? You don't, you can't really make a decision. You know, everybody's fighting to get to the top here. And I feel there's a little bit of fear and that's what's creating this five of wands energy on the bottom of the deck gemini we have ace of wands so um the ace of wands is you know about being passionate right about having passion um about being passionate about something or someone um 
we're going to clarify and see what's going on here. But before we do, I'm going to introduce my new deck. I do have uh, a new deck here. It's called the Fountain Tarot. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see that in the light, but it is beautiful. The deck itself is beautiful. Um, the depictions are, look at that, depictions are amazing. And so, yeah, I'm going to use these to clarify today. And here we go. I just need to cut these first. Got some beautiful, you can see the silver, silver lining. I love the silver lining. All right, so let's look at the Three of Cups here. We've got Three of Cups. Clarify the Three of Cups, please. What are we thinking about? Who are we thinking about? Who is in the Three of Cups here? Three of Cups. Tell me more about the third party connection, please. Oh, we have the Ace of Swords. So I feel like you're looking at planting a seed with someone else. Um, that you've been thinking about going forward to someone else um, because I think that you feel as though you are in love with someone else. So the lovers here is intended love by the universe. So um, it could either be another Gemini um, that you're thinking about. The lover's card is Gemini, but we do have um, the Ace of Swords here. And the Ace of Swords is about uh, connection and communication. It's about having clarity. I feel like the person that you are in love with, you need clarity. You need to have a conversation. I feel like when I look at... Um, when I look at the Three of Cups here and then I see the Ace of Swords and the Lovers, I feel like there is a third party connection in your mind. You need to get clarity from both sides because you're trying to figure out who your person is. Um, you're trying to figure out who it is actually that you are in love with. Who is the person that is your lover? Um, the Six of Swords here. Why do we have the Six of Swords? Clarify please. Six of Swords is clarified by the Nine of Swords. Yeah, you need to put down these burdens, my sweet. You need to put down these burdens and... Um um, that is at the point, as a reader, I see you putting down those burdens. What you carry on when it turns into the Ten of Swords. But right now, I think you're having a hard time sleeping. You're thinking about this person. You're thinking about the third-party connection. And you're wondering if you want to stay in your current situation. Um, and uh, the Six of Swords is about moving away from that. So I feel like you just need to move away from, you know, all of these upsetting, um, maybe, dreams or um, thoughts that you have that is that's keeping you from sleeping nine of swords and we're clarifying the six of swords please one more card clarifying the six of swords please six of swords six of swords please there we go. Six of Swords is clarified by the Nine of Coins. So the person that you're thinking about, I think the person that is in this third party in your head, I believe that person is single. That person has recently become single, I feel. Uh, the Nine of Swords is about, um, you know, being bogged down in your thoughts. And the Nine of Coins is really opposite of that. It's feeling like you're on top of the world. You're single, you're killing it, your business is working out great, you're making money. Um, so I think this is the energy of the person that you're thinking about and that is in your third party connection. Um, and the nine of coins, that is earth energy. Um, earth energy is uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Why do we have the Empress here, please? We have the Empress here because we got the Empress here. <laughs> the Empress is clarified by the Empress. What else do we have clarifying the Empress, please? We have judgment. Okay. So um, I feel like you're going back to see this person. I feel like the person who is the nine of coins is the empress. I feel like she has empress energy. She's the mother. She is uh, the one who's killing it at business. I feel like the judgment tells me there's a reconciliation happening here, which tells me that you already know this person. And so it makes sense now that the three of um, cups now makes a little more sense to me because I see the judgment here. I see that you're going to be making a decision. I also see that there could be some sort of reconciliation on your mind. Um, what else do we have here? Temperance, please. Clarify temperance. Clarify temperance, please. We have... 
the seven of wands. So um, you are trying to keep your balance. You're trying to keep your emotional balance, not hot, not cold, just in the middle, being warm. Um, but I feel like you're still feeling a little bit defensive. I also feel as though there is going to be a journey in which you're go going to embark upon that's going to help you drop all of the things that people have, you know, the actions people have taken against you in your life. I feel like you're going on some sort of an excursion, whether it be in your mind or physically, that's going to help you drop um, these uh, these burdens here. And I'm saying that because the Seven of Wands is all about feeling defensive. You really want your temperance, but it's hard to feel temperance when you're feeling like you have to take the higher ground because you're being attacked. Um, then we have the Page of Cups. The Page of Cups is uh, an apology. So you're taking in an apology to someone. You are feeling defensive because you don't know that they're going to accept the apology. But giving that apology, nonetheless, whether they accept it or not, is going to give you your temperance. Tell me about the Ten of Wands, please. Now I know why you're dropping your burdens, Gem Gemini. I know why you're dropping your burdens, Gemini. Um, ten of Wands, please. Tell me more about the Ten of Wands. We've got the King of Swords. Uh, the King of Swords is someone who is highly intelligent, speaks his mind, usually speaks his mind, speaks it for other people. You could have someone speaking on your behalf as you're putting down these burdens. This could be a lawyer. You could be hiring a lawyer to get more information so you can get out of the last... Um, uh, get out of um, the uh, permanent relationship that you have right now. The King of Swords is someone who can help you with that because they are uh, someone who is highly um, intelligent, very book learned, and usually can represent someone like a lawyer. So I feel like you want to put your burdens down by possibly getting a divorce. Uh, three of Wands, but you've been putting it off because you're not entirely, I think you're sure, but you don't want to feel the fallout of what's going to happen when you drop your burdens um, and you have a lawyer help you do that. So I don't think you want to face that right now and that's why you're waiting. Three of Wands. Um, the Moon. Clarify the Moon, please. I'm just going to put these up here so you can see them. The Moon, please. Clarify the Moon. For Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the next couple of weeks, please. The moon. We have the moon uh, and we have the Knight of Swords in the reverse. So no surprises here. Um, I feel like the uh, the Knight is, is uh, someone who's giving you energy to, um, to speak to whoever it is you have to speak to uh, in order to get the answers you, you require. Um, I feel like there's a little bit of fear here and uh, that you're not necessarily... Um, uh, that you're not necessarily... Um, feeling you're not feeling confident about about this here you're not feeling confident this has to be put on the back burner here i feel like um when it's in the upright i feel like it's something that you're not expecting but this has to be put on the back burner because i see fear here um what do we have here uh, clarify the moon please clarify the moon the moon is clarified by the devil. So we do have more um, more angst, more energy that is negative. Uh, I feel like you feel sick. You could feel nauseated. You could be having bouts of depression. You could be... Um, I feel like you feel stuck to whomever you're in a relationship with right now, that you feel really stuck in that relationship and you don't know how to get out of it. Um, but it is making you ill at this point. Um, and I now I understand why the Five of Wands is here. So give me more information on the Five of Wands, please. Clarify the Five of Wands. Clarify the Five of Wands, please. We have the Five of Wands with the Five of Cups um, in the reverse. So you're tired of feeling left out. Oh, yeah, you're tired of feeling left out. Okay, someone is, someone is leaving you out. That's why you're defensive. That's why you, um, why you have uh, the apology coming. The Five of Cups is in the reverse, which tells me that you're no longer feeling on the outside looking in, but you are still um, thinking about whether you want to go in with that apology because you're worried about whether or not that person is going to accept that apology. Oops. All right, 
Let's get a little bit more for the five of wands here. Five of wands, please. Five of wands, there we go. Five of wands is the page of coins. You're looking at starting something new. Something new, taking in a, uh, a coin to someone, taking in a, um, a pentacle to someone. I feel like there is a, a large age difference between you and this other person. Um, you are either younger than them or they are younger than you, but I feel like you're feeling a little bit of angst of whether or not you should take in this new start to this person, perhaps a gift. Oh, we've got one here. And we've got the Queen of Cups in the reverse. So you're feeling emotionally, you're not feeling like you're there. Um, and what I mean by that is uh, when the Queen of Cups is in the reverse, she's highly overly emotional. And she really can't make a decision because she's so highly emotional. Um, so I think that's what it is. It's anxiety, highly emotional, not being able to make any choices, decisions, yes, no, yes, no within yourself. Um, yeah, so you're not really sure what you're going to do. Um, at this point. Now we do have you putting down your burdens here and we have you waiting to do that, waiting possibly to get a hold of, of uh, a lawyer. Um, you want the lawyer to help you put down your burdens. It could be a lawyer, but it could be someone else as well. Um, I just, my feeling is, is that it is a lawyer. Look, we have cards coming out here. We have the strength card. We have the page of swords. So that tells me that you're actually watching someone online, Gemini, or someone's watching you. Uh, and the three of coins it is about a partnership so I feel as though you are um yeah, you're looking at heading into a new partnership, Gemini, um, but you don't know what to do and how to get out of this relationship that is really, um, you know, right now making you feel stuck, making you feel stuck uh, towards someone, with someone, you're not really sure how you're going to, um, how you're going to figure it out. How are you going to figure it out? All right. I am using the uh, the Wisdom Seekers Tarot. It's the one that I have here. And we've got all kinds of stuff buckling here. They're really awkward. You can see that they're kind of... See, they're kind of bowed here. They're a little bit awkward to, to shuffle here. Okay. Let's take a look here. We are going to uh, clarify this lover's card. Who... What, who is the lover and what do we need to know about this person? Um, which lover are you talking about? Tell us the sign of the lover you're, you're, you're indicating here. Which lover has to have a talking to? So the Four of Pentacles is uh, someone who is playing things close to the chest, doesn't really want to share, um, doesn't really want to share ideas, doesn't want to share money, doesn't really want to share, period. Um, but the Pentacles are also Aries, Capricorn, and Taurus. So it could be Aries, Capricorn, Taurus, someone who is an earth sign that you're looking at talking with. Um, and then we have the Ten of Swords. Yeah, you need to speak with them in order to put down your burdens. You need to get some clarity. Prince of Swords is the Knight of Swords. Tells me that something you aren't expecting is going to happen. And Temperance is what we have here. You're going to try and keep your balance through all of it. I am just going to ask about this... Um, uh, the Prince of Swords, who actually is the Knight of Swords in every other deck. So, um, Prince of Swords, please clarify. What are we not expecting here? What is Gemini not expecting? Gemini is not expecting the whip. And the whip is... Uh, things that are repeated, such as sex, physical fitness, and arguments. <laughs> Sex, physical, physical fitness and arguments. Okay, so um, I feel like we're going probably with the arguments and um, the repeated, repeated um, sexual tension, I believe. What else do we have here? You're not going to expect the sexual tension when you speak to your person. You are not going to... Um, what else did that say? 11... It says arguments. Okay, so you're not going to expect that there's going to be arguments. So I think there's going to be arguments here. What else do we have here? Clarify, please. This is the under the under the Rose Lenormand. If you're looking for that, uh, what else do we have here? Prince of Swords, please. 
Prince of Swords, clarify. There we go. It's the gentleman. So are you the gentleman? Are they the gentleman? It looks like um, someone is coming forward, yeah, with the sun. So um, I feel like the person I'm speaking to is either a man, the one I'm connecting with, or is a female that favors her masculine side. And um, I feel like there's going, what you're not going to be expecting is that there's going to be sexual tension, um, that um, there is going to be incredible growth and clarity as you uh, have this conversation um, with this person, the conversation that you were not expecting. All right, so we have the Six of Swords, and that came up with the Nine of Swords and the Nine of Coins. Clarify the Nine of Swords and the Nine of Coins, please. Nine of Swords and the Nine of Coins, please. Nine of Swords and the Nine of Coins. Ooh, take that back. Nine of Swords and Nine of Coins is the Queen of Swords. So it's time for you to speak up. Yeah, you need to tell somebody what's going on in your head. And it's time that you stop being defensive. Um, that you are going to, oh boy, you're going to be speaking your mind and you're going to be very defensive about it. But you're going to take the higher ground. Just look at those birds. They're flying into the sun, right? You're going to take the higher ground. It is not going to be a good conversation, though, I'll tell you that. Um, it's going to be very tense. I just want to clarify the Devil and the Knight of Swords in reverse, please. The Devil and the Knight of Swords in reverse, please. So the Devil and the Knight of Swords in reverse um, is uh, clarified by the Four of Cups. So the Four of Cups is um, an opportunity, right? You see an opportunity here. Now if I just... If I'll remind you that we've got the moon energy here, the knight of swords uh, in the reverse and the devil. Um, and now we have the four of cups. So the four of cups is energy of an opportunity. And um, I think you're going into this other person with an opportunity of success. And um, the success that you want is probably in a relationship. I feel like um, this person is coming to you from a judgment perspective that they are trying to, that Gemini, you want a reconciliation. And this person may just let you in with this chariot energy here. What do we have here? We have the nine of wands. Yeah, you're putting down your burden so you can go talk to this person. And, you know, why not? Why not do it? Um, we have one life. We got to live that one life, you guys. And so you need to make decisions based on your happiness and not necessarily based on the happiness of others. So we have um, the five of cups. Five of cups no longer... F um, feeling sad, no longer looking in the distance or looking back. Um, Page of Cups tells me that um, you have an apology, but you're not looking in you know, into the past for it. You have an apology that you want to bring forward. The Seven of Wands tells me that you're defensive about that. Um, so let's clarify the Five of Cups in the reverse, please. Five of Cups in the reverse. You've already seen those two cups. You know that there's love there. So um, Five of cups please five of cups well okay uh, as the hermit and we have the king of swords so the king of swords again is someone who is highly intelligent um you know could be someone who is a lawyer i think that you're going to your person to tell them you've thought about it and you want a divorce or you want to get out of the other relationship but i think they're coming to you. i think gemini you're going to that person first to see if they're available because if they're not available why not just stay comfortably in your rut right um, and I think these are the cards of your rut here. Waiting, three of three of coins, partnership, um, three of swords, no nope, page of swords, watching someone online. Um, you've got the strength here as well. But I feel like you're trying to feel strong because you're waiting here, the three of wands. You're waiting here um, for answers from uh, either a lawyer or someone who can speak on your behalf. So let's take a look and see what's going on here. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, you want to be single. You want to be abundant, but it looks like you do want to be single. What else do we have here? What else do we have? Please clarify. Too many. What else do we have here? Three of Coins. We have the Ace of Pentacles. So you are... 
there's a lot of pentacles here, which tells me your person is probably an earth sign of some kind, then we have the five of pentacles. So you've been feeling left on the outside. You really want to have a new start with this person, but you know that you have to be single first before you can go forward to this person because they won't accept it any other way. I feel like um, that if you come to them and tell them that you're still married and thinking about getting out of a relationship, they're probably just going to tell you to take a leap. Um, but I do have the... Um, the five of wands here. Um, I have the page of coins and uh, the queen of cups in reverse. Please clarify the queen of cups and the page of coins, please. There we go. We have three of pentacles in reverse. No more partnership left here. We have the emperor in reverse. You're done. Um, you're done. The, when the emperor's in the reverse, hard to live with, really bad energy, very um, uh, abusive, yelling, screaming. There's just no getting the emperor back um, in his... Um, like into his old self. And then we have the Ace of Cups here. Um, Ace of Cups and the Emperor tells me that with the Ace of Cups in the reverse, it tells me that things are done here, that the, the love is gone. All there is is anger and upset. And the Three of Pentacles in the reverse tells me there's no more partnership here. So I think that's what the Five of Wands is bringing. And um, I feel as though there is going to be... Um, a breakup here of some kind, but a breakup here because you feel like there's more in the future, Gemini. Let's go to um, this other new deck that I have. It's called Angels and Ancestors. Let's get some advice here from the Angels and Ancestors deck here. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for Gemini, please. There we go. And we have Fire Guardian, Ignite Your Passions. So I think that you've been stale in stagnant energy for a while, and it's time for you to start moving. And I think this, this movement here is starting to get you a little excited. You're really thinking it out carefully, and you want to get out of this relationship because there really isn't anything left here. And... Um, I feel like with the Fire Guardian, Ignite Your Passions is just exactly what you need to keep moving. So Fire Guardian, there we go. Fire Guardian, it says, connect with your desires. The sparks could lead to something beautiful. All this over here. It says the fire guardian represents the angels of fire. Fire is an energy that many people are afraid of, but wouldn't, but shouldn't be. Burning desires can lead to great expansion. Allow the fire guardian to help you awaken your wilder side, the wilder side of yourself, and burn away any fear or shame that stands between you and your desires. When this card appears, you are reminded the passion is powerful and absolutely encouraged by spirit. You are being guided by your angels to connect with the powerful energy of desire at this time. If you have recently set an intention to explore your sexual side or become more sexually open, the fire desire can burn away any old setbacks that were preventing you from expressing that part of your nature. If you are in a relationship, this card can indicate a great spiritual sexual connection. So there you go. It is the fire guardian. And uh, I feel like it fits right into everything here because I think we have part of a reading here and part of a reading here, the old and the new, leaving the relationship to begin something new. Thank you for coming by, Gemini. Thank you for watching. This will be a reading for you for a couple of weeks. And um, I will see you in two weeks for another reading. I hope you are well. If you're interested in doing... Um, any readings with me, please uh, email me, lc at tenofcupstarot.ca, and I will make sure that you have what you need. We will converse an email and find out what you need. All right. Thank you for coming by. I'm going to head out for now. Thank you. Have a good week. Bye-bye.